Hi guys, welcome to Learning Electronics Repair. And today I have a soldering station to review. So this is from AliExpress. This is a review sample, I didn't pay for it. But I know a number of you have asked me to review some of the more professional or higher end soldering stations. This one is not at the top of the market. This is about 100 euros. There's a few various options, different packs. This is the iPhone, I think that's how we'll pronounce it, A9 Pro. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So, soldering iron handle, C245. We have some spare of the foam collars, okay. and the soldering station itself, power lead. The soldering station has a Sugon sticker on, as well as iPhone. You'll often see these listed as Sugon A9 Pro, iPhone A9 Pro. In fact, they are the same thing. So, iPhone, Sugon is the same company, They're just different brand names, okay? So don't let that confuse you. I quite like the power switch being on the side, by the way, because often the power switch is around the back. I think on all of my other soldering stations, it's on the back. And that's a bit of a, to be quite honest, awkward place to get at. Usually you've got tips and things sitting in here, of course. So that I do like. Talking of tips, this one came with three. There are various different models available, or rather different kits if you like. So, this one comes with the straight conical tip, that's my least favourite type tip. The knife tip, I know a lot of you guys swear by these, I don't particularly use them, I can use them. This is about my favourite, which is the bent conical. You'll see I use that a lot in my videos this is a bc3 from a t12 that's my other favorite type of tip and you can get this type of tip in this type of fitting okay this is c245 so it's basically a copy of the jbc c245 they're readily available in different styles so being my favorite that's what i'm going to use you can see here the price then and some of the options we have available so 110 volt 220 volt this soldering station is compatible with three types of tips so t210 sometimes you'll see this it's the same as c210 maybe there's some sort of copyright on the name c210 so they use this they are the same i've used these interchangeably myself okay the 210 tips are for finer work, SMD work. The T115 is even smaller again, very small components. And we have the one which I have, which is the T245 or C245. And you can see the same package I have. So the three tips, the types I have, 110 euros basically, with free shipping. Oh, notice actually it says 470 tips as well. That's not a tip type I'm actually familiar with. Okay. So you can see these tips are available in a whole range of different styles and sizes. This is the C470. Okay, it requires a different handle. These seem to be even bigger and chunkier. I'll try and get my hands on one of these C470 handles and tips. And then at a later date, we'll try it on this soldering station. There are generally two types of C245 tips. They have different resistances, basically. So this is one of the tips that came with this. And if we measure the resistance, about 1.6 ohms here's another one of them similar okay i have some tips that came with a cheaper soldering station i bought about half the price of this one actually 
and these read higher 4.6 okay you can get more current into the ones with the lower resistance ohms or so, so for the same voltage okay this is one that I actually bought myself because I like this type of tip okay so I bought this from Aliexpress and that one is about 1.5 so from what I can see the cheaper station came with a higher resistance tip so you can get less current through them at the given voltage I'm going to try the bent conical tip because it's one of my favorite types as I mentioned fits in very positively will not easily fall out certainly will not twist around the best way to remove the tips when they're hot and you want to change tip stick it in there okay and this has some handy storage positions for C210, C245 and 115. Bear in mind, not all those tip tabs fit into the same handle, okay? I've noticed this actually has some buttons on the handle. This is unusual. I've not seen this feature before. I'm assuming that this will either step the temperature up or down or it will switch between the presets. We'll find out. Just commenting on the handle, by the way, this feels very nicely made, well constructed. This is my other C245 from a budget station, basically, okay, which I reviewed a while ago. It worked well enough. This is definitely slimmer and easier to hold. It feels nicer in the hand than this one, okay. The budget one I bought, you can see here, doesn't have the switches on here, and it also has a couple of differences. So, one, this has a locking ring on here and a non standard type plug. This is a standard type plug for C245 or C210 six pin. And the other notable difference is the length of cable. So you can see this one is an extra what, 30 centimeters, something like that. Flexibility is about the same. This is a thicker cable, I will say, by the way, it's thicker. Presumably would carry more current or just more resilient to use yeah so longer cable standard fitting that's the other difference between the two that i see okay how useful this is well we're going to find out this type of socket as well has like a clip which holds it in place which would mean it's easier and quicker with this one to change handle types yeah I'm not doing a direct comparison today with the two soldering stations if you're interested of course we can do that just peel the little sticker off there and we'll switch this on and see what it does bleep okay and we see the display is lit up pick it up yeah on it comes and almost instantly 300 centigrade okay yeah these are your presets 350 380 those are probably the temperatures I would normally use so it goes bright and then yeah it goes dim when it gets close to the temperature by the looks of it okay obviously heats up faster than it cools down unless you just put it on something of course to soak some heat out of it yeah. yeah we can adjust the temperature here and it goes to the temperature okay back to the presets that's fairly easy to use it says that with the handle control we press these buttons Oh yeah, I can just go up and down a few degrees. Okay, press the two together, it says. Switches it off, or yeah. Two together. 
switches back on okay so that's what the buttons do it also mentions in the manual you can adjust the angle of this yeah so whichever angle you want the resting position to be I like that actually so I'm definitely seeing some features that I like on this although it's a higher price it does have some nice features I can see so far but really it will depend on how well this works it tells us we can press the set button yes yeah, switching directly between Fahrenheit and centigrade okay it also mentions you can lock the unit by holding in the channel one button yeah and it mentions that when you change the tip or replace and fitting a new tip it must be calibrated with the long press of the set key okay so let's try that maybe we have to do it when we pick it up in actual fact so let's go yeah it did some sort of calibration there flashing the zero zero it doesn't mention much in the manual about the calibration to be honest okay but something happens i think it's still calibrating actually it then says to press the temperature button to set it to what you want and press set again okay set to 380 let's do a bit of soldering so this is a scrap T-Con board I usually use these boards when testing soldering irons. These have quite heavy power and ground planes in them. Let's try a few capacitors and see how well this actually works. So we get a bit of flux on there. Add a bit of leaded solder. Okay. see how well that works very easily actually okay another one this is without adding leaded solder which would normally make it more difficult in fact it does but it comes off yeah let's try something larger mm-hmm this feels nice to use I will say I would expect it to to be quite honest let's get in there obviously I'm too close to that other component but that came off very easily again okay another chunky one looks like this one's been unsoldered before actually seems to be a bit of flux there so I haven't added flux this time let's just see what happens so yeah and this is set at 380 so this one this is just the lead free solder on there now okay I actually have contaminated that a little bit with the solder from next to it and you can see that when you have lead free solder this is more difficult but off it came let's see if we can find one where there's nothing to contaminate it with looks like I've actually been around here a lot on soldering in the past and for example looks like this is a mess produced by some other soldering iron yeah
This is why I like the bent conical tip because it's easy to get to both ends of the composite at the same time. Off it came. Actually, you know, this was uh, made messy because I was playing around on one of the live streams with some very cheap lead solder from the uh, local hardware store. Yeah, but okay, it did that nicely. This, it just feels powerful. That's the, the best way I can say is this thing feels powerful. Yeah, feels powerful. Okay. So this is now my new soldering station. This one is going on my bench. I still have my T12, of course, which I often use. And my C210, which I also often use. As you can see, by the way, much smaller tips. That's the difference. This is also a Sugon. And this one can go onto the bench we use for the live stream. So this is my Yeehaw, I think we called it. 982 so that goes on to the live stream bench this one goes on to my bench and then let's use them for a while and see how i go but i have to say i like this this just feels much better in use if you want to see a direct comparison i think on the next live stream we can do this if you're interested let us know in the comments below and we can do this on the live stream and I will order a C470 handle and a couple of C470 tips. Probably a bent conical and one of the big chunky ones. And let's give that a go on here as well to see if it just works directly on here. According to the sales information, it's compatible. So we'll do another video with that as well. But I have to say already, I like this. I like the feel of it. It's Hard to quantify, but just using it, and I've been using this one before, it just feels better. It solders better, it desolders better. It feels more powerful, okay? Let me know in the comments below, down there, what you think. Do you have one of these? Are you considering one of these? But personally, bangs versus books, it gets that from me. Okay, hope you enjoyed that, and I look forward to seeing you more soon again on Learning Electronics Repair. Ciao for now, guys.